Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Eric. And we're here with a new trailer for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which uh, we didn't do a reaction to the first one of these because no, I got No one told us. No, well, <laughs> people told us. But we when did. it, when it came out, like I was laying on the ground over there waiting for you pooping or something. Um, and I just saw something like that. I saw it like pop up and I'm like, it's Hyrule Warriors. Oh, okay, it's probably like DLC or something. I started watching it and I was like, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit! I should have reacted to this. <laughs> so, anyway, we missed the first uh, reveal. We all kind of know what this is, which is a uh, obviously the Hyrule Warriors franchise, which it is now, because there is now two of them, uh, is continuing with Age of Calamity, 100 years before the events of Breath of the Wild. Yes. Yes. Um, in Warriors fashion. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm excited to see what we got in this trailer. Yes. Let's, let's see. see. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I love seeing that art. The art's really cool, I like it. Well, Link, you've grown since I last saw you. And yet, you have not changed. Where, I, gotta, I gotta think of this Link is before the Link that I played as Link. It's the same Link, but yes. So that's why it's a good thing it's gonna be Oh, uh, they got all the same voice actors. It's just Barudani. is in a difficult spot right now. This Oh. Yes, that's gonna be fun. Oh. That's great. Dude, it'd be so fun to play as them. <laughs> that was, was that gameplay thing? Were you mm -hmm. rolling like that? No longer, I say. Yeah. I will pilot this divine beast. I wanna play as her. I wonder if you actually have any divine beast gameplay. Oh. I hope you're not hurt, little bird. Little bird. Actually, playing as him would be cool. Man, all, all of them are really cool. Yeah, I know. Where's the best, though? Yes! Prick. Rito Village is my home. While I'm here, you won't be getting any closer. Oh, I love That's it. pretty I sweet. Love That's fantastic. I suppose the time has finally come to reveal Bomb Meadow's divine power! Divine power! Oh, hey, the deck tree. tree. You have all that is needed. To face whatever destiny awaits. Hyrule's fate is in your hands. Dude, you can see the guardians coming out of the pillars. That was cool. Oh, Glad it's me. moving. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Alright, there's a lot of story stuff. No, yeah. I mean, Cutscene stuff. November 20th. Oh, yeah. Well, that's man. not that far Close. away. That's what it was. Okay. Huh? What the? Lucky ladle. You can get the ladle? We had to pre order this. Why? Show me more. Why do you want a ladle? Huh? Trading sword. I want the ladle. Fuck that sword. <laughs> All right. Breath of the Wild saved that. So you'll get the sword regardless, but only if you pre ordered, you get the other. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. Dude, it's cool to see like the combat of like the, All the champions. The, yeah, the champions. Yeah. I never played Hyrule Warriors. So I don't know who mm -hmm. all you're able to play as in that. Oh but. man, Hyrule Warriors! I think it might be Nintendo's most supported game, like DLC wise. Really? Because it just got like, here's what it released with, here's what it ended up with. Really? Like, it is there was so much stuff in Hyrule Warriors, and I never played a Dynasty Warrior game before playing Hyrule Warriors, and I generally liked it. Uh, the only thing that's different here is like, okay, this is Link a hundred years uh, before Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. He's going to be taking on armies. I'm assuming your shit's not going to break. And then you go to Red yeah. of the Wild and you fight one red boblican and your fucking sword breaks. Well, <laughs> but I guess like, you could say that, well, it's 100 years old. Swords get brittle. The, things t the thing, too, is like following through the story of this yeah. is going to be interesting because we know where it has to end up. Yes. But like, looking at what they have and like... It's not like the Deku Chu is like, you guys are prepared. Like, you have Take everything, on, everything, you, everything need. you need. It's like, then what the hell? They, how, how is it that they all die? They must fail. You know, and they lose this. That's the thing about this game is, like, you inherently will fail. Yeah. It is, it's a weird thing to be like, all right, well, this won't work. But then when I come back, yeah. I'm going to have to do this with, like, spirit shit. Yeah. I mean, that'll work. Link <laughs> wakes up in the resurrection water like he dies you know and he loses all his memories and stuff it's not going to be a happy ending well yeah i wonder how it works in this too because in dynasty warriors like you can lose anyone at any time yeah and like people can be captured ransom or just killed mm -hmm. and they're just gone and out of the game and out of the story yeah so like can mm -hmm. that happen at any time with these characters like could you have it where like maybe maybe it's certain missions mm -hmm. 
um, where like they can die because you probably have to have the story base getting so far or if they die you fail maybe yeah but maybe there's some missions where like they could die in the battle I, I could imagine too I've been playing like Warcraft 3 and there's some of those like hold out for as long as you can kind of missions and one of them you have like here's the main character that I'm playing as and then here's the hero with his army and here's another hero with his mm-hmm. army and then like you push up and you try to help defend with this hero but then once you can't hold that with them anymore and they die like they're gone from that map and now you pull back to the next hero trying yeah. to hold them and you've lost that hero from the from the map yeah hmm. you could have that where like you're trying to hold out as long as you can and as it goes through like you have like uh, was it Daruk right mm-hmm. is that his name he, yeah. you lose him and then you move on and they, they take off Herbosa, like another one just you know, like, until eventually it's just like you and Zelda or something like that yeah. there could be some really cool story element and stuff with having a huge army yeah pushing through you know? I, I, I do wonder uh like what kind of actual playable characters will we get? Obviously, the four champions and Link, but they in the first trailer it showed Zelda using the Sheikah Slate and using runes and fighting. So we're gonna have Zelda as a fighter, but beyond that, I don't know who else you can put in there. But this makes me think, like here when it was like when Urboso was like, "I will pilot the Divine Beast" or whatever. Like, I wonder if there'll be like an element of actually piloting the Divine Beast against an army. Like you're walking the camel like an ATAT. Yeah, that'd be amazing. <laughs> But I don't know if that suits for the gameplay of Dynasty. I don't know. Wars. I mean, Dynasty Warriors is like a power trip. Yeah. So it doesn't get much more power trippy than yeah. a giant bank. But one of the things I didn't love, I mean, Hyrule Warriors, it felt like had a really awesome story because it had this character that was going in and out of the Zelda timeline, you know? Uh, uh, so you're meeting all these different characters as, uh, as this, with this Link, who was a knight of Hyrule, but it was not the Link that we know from any other game, you know? Okay. Um, but one of the things I felt like was kind of limiting or I didn't really enjoy was just, like, the locations, you know? Because it was, like, it kind of looks like that thing from that game, but it's not. And this kind of looks like that, you know? So that was, you know, as a Zelda fan, it was always kind of take me out of it. But here, it looks like they're straight up using locations right from Breath of the Wild. We have these vast fields in Hyrule Field. That's where we're going to be doing most of our fighting. Yeah. Well, you fight there. They had it over at uh, Death Mountain. Death Mountain as well. fighting amongst, like, the lava of Death Mountain and everything. Yeah. Now... It'd be interesting having. Uh, Zora's like, domain, I think, was in the last one too. Yeah, I think they showed a part here too, and she like had like a tidal wave move yeah. that she sent out, which is kind of cool. And then uh, uh, the Gerudo Desert. But it so. will be interesting to see like what elements that they completely ignore. Yeah. <laughs> of Breath of the Wild, where like we well, can't go in the desert, you're gonna overheat. You need to have yeah. less clothes. You can't yeah. go into. <laughs> yeah. You can't go to Death Mountain. It's too hot. Like you're you just need, not gonna break. More clothes. Rain <laughs> you know? doesn't just depress you because you can't climb now. Yeah. Um, you know. I agree. What was the difference? But the stuff that they've gotten like straight on point is the art design. Like it looks like it's just Breath of the Wild with the new gameplay yeah. mode. Uh, the same voice actors for all the champions and Zelda. Uh, that's that's cool. Yeah. Um, Will Link talk? I doubt it. Uh, probably not. He'll right. probably go yeah or something <laughs> like that. You know, he does that. Um, shit. I had one more thing too that I was really interested in. Uh, I like his it, armor too. Yeah, the the knight armor. That is something that I'm like, man, I wish I could get exactly that in Breath of the Wild, you know. But yes, that's maybe Breath of the Wild too. The other thing they have too is like all of the like powers Link gets from mm-hmm. doing the Divine Beasts and yeah. whatnot. Like they're showing them using Use their own power, of these own powers exactly. and stuff, which is really cool. Yeah. So like, what Rivali's Gale or whatever? Yep, he is, can fly. It, pretty it much. so much bigger there yeah. when he's doing it than the version that Link gets. Yeah, to be able to... like Mifa, we just saw her heal in the Breath of the Wild, but he, she, she's like commanding water in yeah. this one, like, like a mage almost. Uh, Daruk, obviously, this very powerhouse and maybe something to do with like flames he, well, or lava. He had like an explosion thing yeah. I saw that might be a power of his, and then he also did his like shield yeah. while rolling, while rolling, yeah. and like taking off, which is really cool. And then too. Urbosa just has that. Fury, right? Where she just unleashes like it's lightning. lightning. Yeah, so. she should the lightning one, which yeah. is really cool. I, I'm, I'm interested in hers. I love her like sword and stuff yeah. too, and she's got good hair. Yeah. I wonder who the enemy commanders are going to be. I don't if know. If there even are enemy commanders. Yeah. I think in the the first one, they had like, and they might do this too. It's like you have all your what bokoblins and whatnot, like yeah. all the little guys, but then they had like some of the really big guys. They had like really, bosses. The guys would be sleeping and stuff. Yeah. Like, they'd have some of them, like, Moblins and stuff. And, but uh, Hyrule Warriors would straight up have, like, Queen Gama from... She was the Deku Tree boss in that dungeon. Oh, she would be on She the would field? just be on the field, you know? Really? Yeah, so they could go that route. They could obviously go with Lionels and yeah. uh, stuff like that from Breath of the Wild. But in terms of, like, character, I kind of agree. Where do you go with that? But you're also 100, mi- I, I, 100 years before. I did see Impa, which Impa would still be around. Maybe you could have Impa in there. Maybe as a playable character, but... In terms of enemy commanders, I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't know either. That's what I'm thinking. Like you take like, you take like the really big kind of guys that would be in the wild, yeah. and have them leading like little bokoblins sure. and little lizards and yeah. whatnot. I can't remember all the names of the ones. Like like the long nosed like mm-hmm. bokoblin looking guys. Yeah, some the uh, are, moblins. Yeah, are those moblins. Mm-hmm. Are those ones like I don't know. They might do some stuff like that because in this game, like the only bosses in Breath of the Wild were pretty much iterations of Ganon. So you could also maybe like yeah. maybe Calamity Ganon's there and oh, he's like sending the, out the blights. Maybe he's sending out versions of himself to mm. like battle yeah. and lead armies and stuff. I mean all that stuff, yeah, I mean we could you could do that kind of stuff. But I'm also excited about this game because this feels like it could seed in some stuff with Breath of the Wild too. Yeah. Breath of the Wild 2 trailer we see Link and Zelda like going under Hyrule Castle and finding Ganon's original body. Yeah. That you could see if you want to. We know that the Nintendo team is working very closely with the storyline of this game, yeah. so you, they could see some fun stuff. You could have something where, like, maybe there is a real body of Ganon here somewhere, yeah. and either it's it's maybe it's on the field, maybe mm-hmm. it's something that you have to fight too. Maybe because Calamity Ganon and the Ganon you fight in that, like, is not what I was expecting to fight. No, when you get down in there. What, yeah. like, Jesus, that's what he is. It's yeah. like a Resident Evil boss or something. You know, like it's crazy yeah. looking. I mean, um, yeah, Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite Zelda games, but it's not my favorite Zelda story, you know, yeah. because it's yeah. not meant to be. You know, it's supposed to be just here's a fun sandbox and all the fun things you can do. But I mean, it's a very sad story because ultimately, you know, while you do end up defeating the calamity, you're left with literally nothing. You know, uh, that's actually one of the things I'm interested in. This, like, will there be any type of exploration where I can actually go and see Hyrule Castle before it's all fucked up? Because it looks amazing. Except for all the guardians and ooze and stuff everywhere, you know? I wonder if we'll get a chance to actually see what the castle looks like. It, It'll probably be your home base yeah. where, like, you can equip and do stuff like that. Yeah. I guess. If they're making it where the battlefields are also in the mm-hmm. you know Breath of the Wild thing, you could easily have that. Or, you know, one of the things, too, is you could see the destruction of it. Like, you could be yeah. there defending it, yeah. and you're being pushed. Because, you know, sometimes games will give you moments where, like, you got to defend this. But mm-hmm. you obviously can't win. You yeah. will have to lose, but you yeah. can try to hold as long as you can. You could have a moment like that where, like, they're pushing you so hard and you're seeing the castle mm-hmm. be crumbled and then you, like, you escape out, you know, getting into there. There were, like, four or five different ways to get yeah. into the castle, you know? Maybe you escape down through the tunnels and the mines and you take off yeah. the bus of water. I mean, when you play Breath of the Wild you and you're exploring, you find so many ruins of, like, this was the East Dock Gatehouse, you know? This is uh, the northmost guard of the Royal Guard, like, mm-hmm. but they're all destroyed things, yeah. and they all look like they had some torp of village. Well, it looked like Lon Lon Ranch. Lon Lon Ranch, you know? But in any type of actual village that you see in Breath of the Wild, they're all like these scattered communities. What did it look like before, and will that feature in this game? It'd be cool to see, like, the destructions of those yeah. things. Like Castletown. You have Castletown, then you have the wall, and then the castle. What does Castletown look like? Well, is there going to be the Great Plateau? Or is that um, going to be lifted afterwards, you know? like Yeah, I don't know. That, like, I think that the Great Plateau... Uh, it was always up high because there is a spot, the Great Top Plateau, where you can see the entrance to it. It's like this big archway, but it's been filled in with earth, and you can't get into it. So that's why that's why you can only jump off or climb it, you know. Hmm. So the Great Plateau was always a plateau, uh, unlike like say like Skyward Sword Skyloft, like that was risen by yeah, the gods, you know. Tough. So I don't know. You might be able to visit it though. Um, I'm trying to think of like interesting. What other things can we see? Like this no, version of the dragons, right? We might be able to see the dragons. That would be cool. Uh, yeah, I'd be interested if they did any kind of... Has a Dynasty Warriors game ever done anything like with like Navy battles or the ocean? Because Hyrule has an ocean on its uh, Not of the ones I've east played. side. That I would, mean, yeah, there's, there's Dynasty Warriors, there's Samurai Warriors, there's Gundam Warriors. Yeah. There's like all gotcha. kinds of them. Okay. There, but... Yeah, I don't know if there's... I don't know if they'll go that route. They yeah, all have but... a very similar formula. From what yeah. I've played. It'd be, it'd be interesting to at least see the fields we get to fight on. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm way more hyped for Breath of the Wild 2 when that comes out, but this has been, I'm actually more excited about this than I was about Hyrule Warriors when it first dropped. Is this going to be, was Hyrule Warriors multiplayer? I don't know. Or was it only single player? I, guess I never played I only played player. a single player, so I don't know. Because I'm remember. just curious on, like, if this will have any multiplayer aspects of it. Yeah. Can you, like, team up and fight with different, mm-hmm. like, you know, champions and stuff? Sure. Against Ganon? Yeah. Um, I doubt that you'll be able to play as the Ganon side as, like, yeah. Bokoblins and Moblins. Maybe not, no. You know, but yeah. that'd be kind of cool if you could. That would be interesting. Can you imagine playing, like, as, like, a, a, was a Lionel? Yeah. Be, a Lionel, kind of, yeah, a Lionel? exactly. Like, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I mean, all these questions will probably be answered here come November 20th, and 
I have to assume, at the very least, I'll be playing this at twitch.tv slash blindwave. The link you can find in the description right now. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in uh, watching us play it. That way, when it happens, you'll get notified. Yep. Anything else? I think that's it. All right. Interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe because we try to cover uh, trailers and uh, all kinds of stuff right here. So yep. subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that kind of stuff. And as Eric said, check out twitch.tv slash blindwave where through the month of October we're going to be doing Scream Stream, playing scary games, and you can even try to add your own jump scares. Scare it! What was that? It was a Scream Stream. Scream.